If your room is not getting cold enough, we need to check all our system components to make sure we can identify the right cause of our problem. We will guide you to perform a full checklist of the CoolBot, the CoolBot settings, the air conditioner, and the room construction. Watch the entire video or jump ahead to the section you are interested in. Let's get started with the CoolBot checks. Is your room sensor touching a cold surface? This can cause a false reading on the sensor. Make sure the room sensor is hanging free. Is your fin sensor touching a cooling pipe? This can cause a false reading on the sensor. Make sure the tip of your fin sensor is only one quarter inch deep between the lowest and second from lowest horizontal cooling pipes. Are the heater cable and the air conditioner sensor hanging in front of the air conditioner? Are they touching anything cold? Having your heater with the air conditioner sensor close to the air draft will affect the functioning of the heater cable and will not allow your cooler to reach its set point. Do not insulate your heater cable and the air conditioner sensor to solve this problem. Use only the piece of aluminum foil recommended in the installation manual. They must be out of the way of the air draft and kept away from touching any cold surface. Is the CoolBot displaying a permanent ER message? If there is an ER message on the screen, unplug the room sensor and firmly plug it back two or three times into the port. If the ER message clears, proceed to perform the sensor's calibration test from this guide. If the ER message persists, unplug the sensor and discard it. Leave the CoolBot without a sensor plugged into the room port. The ER message will display permanently until a new sensor is installed in the room port. This is okay. Your CoolBot will be working on a safety mode in the meantime. Is the CoolBot flashing an EF or ER message and a number? If there is an error message flashing on the screen and the fin's light is flashing rapidly, Unplug the fin sensor and firmly plug it back two or three times into the port. If the ER message clears, proceed to perform the sensor's calibration test from this guide. If the error message persists, unplug the sensor and discard it. Grab your room sensor and use it as your fin sensor. Make sure you plug it firmly into the fin's port and the tip of the sensor is correctly positioned on the fins of the air conditioner just like the other sensor was. Leave the CoolBot without a sensor plugged into the room port. An ER message will display permanently until a new sensor is installed in the room port. This is okay. Your CoolBot will be working on a safety mode in the meantime. Is there an EH message showing on your CoolBot? If there is an EH message and your heater light is flashing rapidly, unplug the heater cable and firmly plug back two or three times into the port. If the EH message is still showing, your heater cable is broken and needs replacement. If there are no errors showing on the CoolBot display, then let's do a last check for calibration of our sensors. Gently grab your fin sensor out of the front of the air conditioner and let it hang next to the room sensor. Toggle between room and fins with the arrows on your CoolBot and compare the temperatures reading on the display. Make sure the indicator light is either on room or fins as you toggle and that you are not on heater or program. When comparing the readings of your sensors, they should be the same or within two degrees Fahrenheit. If they are more than two degrees Fahrenheit, compare the readings against a calibrated digital thermometer, discard the faulty sensor and replace it with a new one. Is the heater warming up? Take the tip out of the aluminum foil and unplug your CoolBot. Plug your CoolBot back and press the heater against your wrist. Wait 30 seconds until the CoolBot heater light goes off or starts blinking. Is it warm or hot? If it is, we are good. If it is not, let's make sure the cable is plugged correctly into the CoolBot first. Unplug the heater cable and firmly plug back two or three times into the port. Repeat the checkup process two times. Unplug the CoolBot, plug your CoolBot back, wait 30 seconds, and repeat. Press the heater cable against your wrist. Is it warm now? If it is not, your heater cable needs replacement. 
To replace a sensor or a heater cable under the one-year warranty, just send us an email at support at storeitcold.com with your name and the original order number. To purchase replacement parts, please visit our support page at www.storeitcold.com. Now that we have checked the CoolBot sensors and heater cable, let's take a look at the settings of the CoolBot and make sure that everything is set up correctly. Is the temperature set too high? Make sure the indicator light is on the room position. Press the check mark button. The current set temperature will blink on the display. Adjust with the arrows if necessary to the desired value. Press the check mark to save. Your CoolBot will go back to display the current room temperature. Is your fin setting too high? Move to the fins position with the right arrow. Make sure the indicator light is on the fins position. Press the check mark button. The current fin setting will blink on the display. The factory fin setting is 1. Most users find best results with a fin setting in between 1 and 4. Adjust with the arrows if necessary to the desired value. Press the check mark to save. Your CoolBot will go back to display the current fin's temperature. After 30 seconds, it will jump back to the room position and display the current room temperature. Is your heater delay set too high? Move to the heater position with the right arrow. Make sure the indicator light is on the heater position. You should see an F for Fahrenheit or a C if you've set up your CoolBot in Celsius. Press the check mark button three times. The current heater setting will blink on the display. The factory heater delay setting is D1. Most users find best results with a heater delay setting in between D1 and D4. Adjust with the arrows if necessary to the desired value. Press the check mark to save. Your CoolBot will go back to display F or C. After 30 seconds, it will jump back to the room position and display the current room temperature. Do you want to reboot your CoolBot and bring it back to its factory settings? Go to our support page at www.storeitcold.com and check out our step-by-step -step instructional video on how to reboot your CoolBot. If everything is checked OK with the CoolBot and its settings, it is time to check our air conditioner for proper functioning and correct settings. Is your air conditioner set on cool mode and is your fan set to high speed? If your air conditioner is set on anything other than cool mode, go to the panel of your air conditioner and switch your air conditioner to the cool mode and set your fan speed to high. Do you have the right size air conditioner for the room you are cooling? To check on what size air conditioner is the appropriate one for your room size, please visit the support page of our website at www.storeitcold.com. If your air conditioner is too small to cool the room, replace your air conditioner with a higher BTU rated unit. Does your air conditioner have a secondary sensor? Most window air conditioners over 12,000 BTUs that are not LG or higher will have a secondary sensor. If your air conditioner has a secondary sensor, the secondary sensor must be located or it will prevent you from reaching your set temperature. Or it may also create big temperature swings inside your cooler. Do not fully disconnect or cut the secondary sensor from your air conditioner. Once the secondary sensor has been located, you may zip tie or use a small piece of electrical tape to connect this to the outside of your heater and air conditioner sensor cables. Be sure the secondary sensor is outside of the aluminum foil. We have a great secondary sensor guide available at our support page on our website. Please visit us at www.storeitcold.com. Have you cleaned the fins of your air conditioner recently? This procedure is recommended once a month. Dirty fins on the outside coil drastically reduce cooling power. Dirty fins on the inside coil drastically reduce cooling power and can cause ice ups. Use a plastic brush with long bristles. Use plain water, do not use soap. Dunk bristles in water and wipe down the fins starting at the top and moving to the bottom. Hardware stores also sell coil cleaner. Please follow the manufacturer instructions. 
Are you using a compatible air conditioner brand with your CoolBot? For a list of supported brands and models, visit our support page at www.storeitcold.com. Is the compressor on your air conditioner running? Make sure the air conditioner unit is set on the cool mode. Remember that the fan runs all the time while your air conditioner is on the cool mode. However, this does not necessarily mean that your compressor is running. Listen for a louder humming sound coming out of your air conditioner unit along with the fan noise. Feel for hot or warm air coming out of the back of the air conditioner. This is a clue that the compressor is most likely running. Switching your unit from the fan-only mode to cool mode is a good way for you to identify the change in the sound of the air conditioner when the compressor comes on and off. On the fan mode, the compressor should always be off, and on the cool mode, the compressor should come on. With the CoolBot unplugged from the power supply, a good test you can do on your air conditioner to make the compressor come on is to hold the temperature sensor tightly inside your hand to make it warm while the air conditioner unit is set on the cool mode. This should make your compressor come on. If it doesn't, then you have a problem with your air conditioner and it may need repair. If your air conditioner running on its own without the cool bot connected to the power supply fails to maintain the room temperature at the air conditioner's lowest temperature setting of 60 Fahrenheit, or if the compressor is constantly running without cycling, but fails to cool the room any more beyond a certain point, then there is a problem with the air conditioner unit. If this is a new install, then your air conditioner might be too small for the room. Check our website for the correct sizing of air conditioner for your room. If this is a cooler that has previously worked well with the CoolBot and started showing this problem, this means that your air conditioner developed a refrigerant leak and it has lost some of its cooling capability. The air conditioner needs to be replaced. If you haven't found the problem yet, this could be an issue with the room itself. Let's take a look at some of the common problems associated with the room construction. Is your room properly insulated according to our recommendations? We recommend insulating your room all the way around to an R value of at least R25 with rigid foam. Our preferred insulation is at least 4 inches of hard closed cell foam insulation such as urethane, polystyrene, or polyisocyanurate. We do not recommend fiberglass bat or blown-in insulation. Have you sealed all your cracks and gaps in your room? Make sure the room is airtight by sealing all cracks, gaps, and joints. Spray foam such as Great Stuff seals cracks well. All seams should be taped using foil HVAC tape. Inspect for leaks around air conditioner and check your door gaskets. The gaps around the air conditioner should be filled with removable closed cell foam strips. Have you allowed your cooler to run long enough? Allow the cool bod and air conditioner at least eight hours to cool down the walk-in cooler for the first time. Some coolers require more time to cool down. Most well-insulated coolers will drop below 50 degrees within one hour. Large product loads and concrete floor coolers may take longer to cool down the first time. The rate of the temperature decrease slows down as the temperature gets lower. This means that the cooler will drop a lot faster to go from 60 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit than it will to go from 50 degrees to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Is your room too big? An improperly sized air conditioner unit will not have enough BTUs to cool your room to the desired temperature. Reduce the room size or increase your air conditioner size if needed. If you aren't sure, check out our air conditioner sizing calculator tool on our website at www.storeitcold.com.